what's going on? <laughs> I try to calm it down, you know, have no hyperbole and shit, but I still want to go, oh, yeah. <laughs> you can do the whole Darth Vader. Luke, I am your father. All right. Well, then. <clears throat> yeah. So what are we doing here today? We moved it into my little brew room that's still getting organized, but we're also, we're doing two things. We're going to do a Dr. Smirto's Gold Nail. Tell you all about that in a minute. So we got the, uh, the water heating up. Where are we going? 162 in the old Brewer's Head Match and Boil. Well, first of all, this has been a long time coming. This is my man, Timmy Jenkins. Big shout out. Most expensive beer I've ever drank right here. Got four bottles and the dude sent it over from the UK somewhere. I just looked online to see where he's from and I, I don't know. Pool or something. Dorset pool or something. Don't know where it is. It's across the pond. Somewhere on the island. Yeah, on the island. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So this is an American steam beer. 7.8. Caramel Vienna. Northern Brewer. Extra special. There we go. Let's do this. Ooh, smells so good. <sighs> Timmy, it's been a long time coming, man. But we've been aging it, conditioning it. Here, my dog, get over here and get some. <laughs> get over here and share, sharing it. Show them the poor. Well, that's nice. Whew, he hung over today. <clears throat> nice looking beer, nice head, nice car. Look at the color, man. Clear as all get out, dude. Nice yeah, looking beer, nice. man. Nice. That yeah, looks nice. Yeah, real nice, Tim. I think, yeah. I think you got, uh, I got more than you did. No sediment in there at all. Oh, a little tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit. Just a little bit of yeast. Yeah, I went, oh, yeah, I like got some sediment. That's all right. It's a bottled beer. We're going to have some. That's a clear beer, man. It ever. That's nice. What's that smell like? <sighs> Steel beer. Northern Brewer hops would be in there. 7.7%. Yeah, it smells good. That's a great looking beer. Nice, say. yeah, man. So it was clear, but I just put the last little bit, which gave it a little bit of the, the uh, yeah, yeah, super nice. clear. Nice beer, man. Smell, smells good. Down the Dutch. That's good. I like that. That's a, that's a good. That's a great beer. Yeah, that's a good taste. Yeah, beer. that's cool, man. Steam beer. American steam beer. I've never brewed a steam beer. Cheers, man. That's a great beer. That tastes really good. Mm. It's got a. That does taste good. I like it. It's a nice balance between the malt and the hop. But there's a, you now, can if you send over a dozen more, <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> we still got three more or something, but they're all different. I can catch the, the hop, hop in there, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's got a. Can't really put my finger on it. Yeah, that's good. It's really, ooh, yeah, that's good. So, <clears throat> what else we're doing is my son busts in here and interrupts the filming. <laughs> yep, out you go, where you go. All right, so, boys, that's awesome, Tim. We're gonna, we're gonna have a couple more of your brews today, too, so stay tuned for those. I really like that one. Yeah, it's a real good one, man. Thanks, man, appreciate it, dude. Like, that, that costs a shit ton of money to get beer from the yeah. UK to Canada. Like, I won't even tell you what he spent with it, it man. Yeah. Good beer, dude. Appreciate it. All right, so we're doing the Mr. Smirto Golden Ale. This came off of Beersmith. Uh, it's calling for, uh, it's a big boil, um, 90 minutes, but it's also boil size, 9.51 gallons. Two row, two pounds of Munich malt, two pounds of wheat malt, 10.58. That's, that's some detailed shit right there. 10.58 ounces of Kara Munch. Seven, no, what was that? What was it? 0. 0.71 ounce of Caramel. Amarello Golden. It's not Munch. It's Munich. Munich. Caramel Munch. I call it Caramel Munch. It's my brew room. It's my brew equipment. I bought the damn ingredient. It's a Caramel Munch. Munich. Yeah. <laughs> 0. 0.71 ounce of Amarello Gold. No sir, we're going one whole ounce. 0.92 Amarello Gold, 20 minutes. No sir, we're going one whole ounce. 0.92 Amarello, zero minutes at flame out. No sir, we're going one ounce. And then we're using US05, we're mashing at 151, and we're boiling for 90 minutes. We're mashing for an hour. We'll be back. Cheers, Tim. Yeah. So. Strike water, mash water is up to about 140. We got to get to 162, so we should let's have another one of Timmy's Jenkins pours. This one's called a 
Real Ale, Willamette, Amarillo, Equinox, 7.8%. Oh, man, Tim likes to make the ABVs. That's what I like. He likes that, man. He likes that. Let's do this. Oh, lots of hop notes in that one. Whew. Nice. Here we go, Timmy. Timmy's chilling in his hot tub over there today. I saw photos of that up on... Uh, check that out. That's some, that's some live action. I poured that wrong. Mad dog will pour it. Mad dog will pour it correctly. Yeah. Come over here, mad dog. Let them see that. That's a that's a real hit. Got a lot got a lot of carbonation in there, so I poured that incorrectly. There we go, mad dog. Got that. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Nice, man. Your your beers are super clear, man. Well done. Lots of hoppy, hoppy, hoppy smells. <clears throat> that's fine. Yeah, that's good. A little bit of yeast in the bottom of her. Yep. Oh yeah, that's a nice looking beer. Yep. Very nice. Yeah, you poured that nice. Very nice. What do we got? I'm gonna get a lot of head is what I'm gonna do. Smells good. <sighs> yeah. Not that's a super hoppy beer, man. That's that's nice. That's it's nice. nice. It's not a super hoppy. No. Nope. But it's uh it's it's a nice mix. Yeah. Again, but no, it's not super hoppy. It's not an IPA. No. But uh, you can definitely get the hop hop notes in there for sure. It's a great nice color. beer, Tim. Great color. It's got a great taste. Yep. And I oh, we'll big a few dozen more over, and we'll, we'll sample it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to mortgage this house to send over a dozen beer here, man. <laughs> We're getting hammered on Timmy's beer, seven point eight percent. Son of. Keep up the good work. <laughs> we'll be back. Let's do it. Let's we hit temperature and we're drinking Timmy Jenkins Real Ale. Oh, still, that's yours, man. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So we're putting in right now two very scientifically done, but we are pretty detailed individuals. 10.58 ounces. Mm -hmm. This is one pound. Who the hell is this? Cousin Jimmy in the house. Look at that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put till we get to the A, that's what we decided. Yeah, you're gonna need some more. You're gonna need some more, my dog's head. There we go, there we go. Stir that up. Cousin Jimmy in the house. Great <laughs> time for video. Brewing, man. What's up, Jimbo? See ya. <laughs> Two pounds of Munich malt. Hold on, Jimbo, we're almost done. Relax. Hello. Company showing up in the middle of the brew. All right. What was the other one, my dog? We do two pounds of wheat malt. Yeah, this is some live action, the old brewers. Yeah. Two pounds of that, and we got to do six pounds of the Pilsner. Almost done, Jim. Two, six pounds of the Pilsner. If it's not Pilsner, you're, not, you're making an A, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, but it's called. I've never used this before, actually. It's a two-row Pilsner, yep. Two-row Pilsner? Yep, I've never used it before. Hey, he's bailing. He's bailing. Hey, bail. You're leaving his girlfriend behind, though. <laughs> and Jimmy leaving, leaving the girlfriend behind. Hey, that's nice. Screw that up. It's not that easy to get this much in. No. That's a lot of grain. All right. Because we got company, we're going to cut this son bitch section short. We'll be back. We're going to let that mash for one hour. But then we'll be back. Start the boy. We're going to do 90 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So a little update on the old mash and boil. My man Craig hooked me up. He said that if you watch your last video, I had a little issue with the fluctuation in temperatures. We've discovered that it will drop. Um, what, six degrees under your set temperature, then the heater kicks in, and then we found it way over, um, about eight to 12 degrees over. We had it on the 1600 watt, put it on the 1100, the 1000 watt um, heater, 
and uh, for the mash and she holds it nice man feel she doesn't get up past 154 um, I had it at 151 is my set temperature so that's cool um, we're done her mash I just once again overheated my uh, sparge water so letting that cool down to 168 170 and we're gonna sparge and we're getting a 90 minute boil all right so uh the sparge water's coming down uh, i think i told you i overheated the sparge water i always do that so we're getting her down to the 170 168 mark in the meantime i'm gonna do a mash out at 170. so this thing hit set you then crank her up to 170. Then you hit set again, and set again, and set again, and set again, and off she runs. That's it. So I'm going to do a 15-minute mash out once it hits 170. Um, probably leave it on the 1,000 because that 1,000 watt because I'm not in a big hurry here. I'm still trying to get the sparge water. Then I'll mash it out at 170 for 15 minutes, and then uh, we're going to drain and sparge, and then we're going into the 90-minute boil. Hang tight. Five minutes. Maybe under, because I left the room to uh, head up from, shit, what were we, 151 to the mash out of 170. We actually hit 172, so I'm going 15 minutes at this. So that's cool, and I only left it at 1,000 watts, so this thing's badass. This thing heats this son of a bitch up fast, but um, like my man Craig said, um, 1,000 watt, that's the way to do it. Um, once you've got your temperatures down, like for the mash, you, uh, you don't want to leave it on the 1600 watt because the residual heat um, on the element cranks your way up. But the thousand seems to hang in nice. I set it at 170, it went up to 172. That's cool. Um, now it'll just it'll hang down around the 170 area, and that's cool. 15 minutes. My sparge water is getting handy to the right temperature, and uh, we will be proceeding with the 90 minute boil real soon after we sparge. Okay. Emo! <laughs> we are heading to sparge mode here now, ladies and gentlemen. So what we've done is we pull the green basket. Just kidding. Roger Predator <laughs> didn't commit suicide. He was murdered. <laughs> All right. Class. Back to the, uh, back to, if you don't know what that is, watch Ace Ventura. Yeah. Um, so what we've done, we're done to drain, we've got sparge water, but 170. We've cranked this up to 218 Fahrenheit to get it up to the 212. Uh, take a little while to do that. So now what we're gonna do is we've got a little pot. Show them that other little pot there, Matt. Show them that one right there. We're gonna just scoop, pot. do what, the pot ski, smoky up ski. Yeah. Um, we're just gonna pour it in. It's calling for how many? Pre-boil, they want something like nine gallons. I ain't doing that. Um, I don't even think you can hold mine, guys. I don't know if we can either. We might be able to, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to take it to like maybe seven, seven and a half. And uh, let it ride. So we'll be back for the first hop edition on the boil. Yeah. We better start drinking because the Hyper Bowl's toned down last video. Like, yeah. yeah. Yummy. Getting there, guys. We're at about 180, so we get a little bit to go, but... Smells good, looks good. Went to seven gallons. Um, this thing can't hold nine, seven's the max, so I gotta be careful there that we don't get a boil over. But she doesn't do, from my experience last time, a real rigorous boil, so uh, I don't think we're gonna have a problem. But uh, I'm gonna keep a close watch on her. We got boil. So it was at 198, and I went outside to have a beer and uh, came back in, and I missed the boil. We had a little boil over, not a bad one. But uh, as you can see, she got a little messy down the side and stuff. I've already cleaned it up with some water and stuff, but not bad, not bad. Uh, next time I'll know that you can definitely hit boil over with this thing if you go seven gallons. Um, so we'll be keeping a closer watch on it. So we get 90, 90 minutes boil. Um, first top edition is 60 minutes in, so no, 60 minute mark, 30 minutes in. So we'll be back then. We are at the 60 minute mark, Amarello hop edition. Um, my man Craig, I, I gotta get myself a hop spider, you know, I'm eventually gonna do that shit, gotta get one of them. But in the meantime, what I'm gonna do, he, he advised me, he said, don't let it hit the bottom because these uh, Brewer's Edge have a, uh, a a thermostat down on the bottom that could trigger it or uh, yeah, something like that. 
So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drop that bad boy in like that, and I'm going to clamp the son of a bitch, because this is ghetto beer. We're making some ghetto beer here. If you had a hop spider, that would work well. I'm going to give a little more leeway. We're just going to clamp that like that, and that's it. So that's the first hop edition, Amarello. We're going to, um, we got another one coming at the 30 minute mark. No, 20 minute, 20 minute left in the boil. And then we got a flame out. What have I noticed so far this go around? So my second go with this bad boy. Um, we're sitting at 214. I've got it set for 218. Hasn't gone up past 214. Hasn't gone down under 214. So that's cool. We got a nice uh, slow boil, nice rolling boil, nothing vigorous at all which that's fine, um, definitely boiling. So it's all good, man. And uh, we'll be back when we're back. So uh, they're, they're Mad Dog's back. He's been hanging out with my wife all afternoon while I've been brewing. Yeah, smart boy. So we're at Flame Out. We're gonna no chill this old song gun right here. So I'm gonna ounchy poo the hop skis right in there instead of throwing it in the pot. We're gonna do that and turn her off. Turn the old ball, and we're off the no chill. I'm gonna fill that up, and shake it around like that, sterilize it and shit. Did you put your whirl flock in there? Nope. There See, that. Mad Dog I always got my back. It's in the fridge. It's in the fridge. I'm gonna put the whirl flock in because I forgot to do it in the boil, but I found that you can do it in the no chill. It does the same thing. So that's cool. Um, and uh, that's it. Tomorrow, guys, I'm going to uh, pitch the yeast. That's it. So you want to, what you want to do is you want to shake this up, get the air out of it, squeeze it, let the air out of it, and then shake it up some more, and she's good to go. I found as long as I uh, pitch the yeast the next day, no problems with the no, no chill. Hope you enjoyed. That's it. Don't think I'll be back tomorrow. This has been a busy, long video. MakeBeerEasy.com. Here it comes. Warflock tab in the no Robot. chill. Oh, is it? Action. <laughs> Got any words with you? You haven't been here all day on the video. You got something to tell the peeps or what? No. Well, I, sh I shouldn't. I really shouldn't. I have lots of things to tell people, but I shouldn't say it because uh, YouTube don't like that. Don't like it. Watch out. We go!